Today I'm going to be showing you a quick overview of my ADHD second brain that I built in Notion called Your ADHD Mind. Let's jump right in. This is what the page looks like when you first download it, and once you have hit duplicate, this is what it will look like in your Notion. You're going to want to open your sidebar and drag these two pages somewhere to your sidebar. You do not have to keep them together. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open this page pop your name in there and add a quote or an affirmation. I've also got a start here video that will go over just some general things you need to know before you get started. And then we also have a super easy way for you to delete the sample data in just a few clicks. And if you click on this, it will show you how to do that. Here at the top, we've got our feeling buttons and our action buttons. These are going to take us to pages in the system based on what we want to do. And yes, it's super easy to add more of these if you want. Just go ahead and click on this. I want to add more buttons and it will take you to a tutorial. These are going to open up some of the feelings. So if you go down here, you'll see that we have an all feelings page. These feelings are things that I have put in that I thought were common feelings for ADHD people. Obviously there's way more. I did not put in all of them, but when you click new, it's going to be templated. So you know exactly how to fill it out if you would like to, and you can add some things that will be helpful for you in that moment. I've gone ahead and added things for you in here. It's not a one size fits all, but I did just try my best to add some tips for you based on what helps me. You may need to change them or adjust them though. Going back to our homepage, again, these feelings buttons are just going to open a feeling. Sometimes I found with ADHD, it's hard for me to get started on work if I'm overwhelmed by a feeling. So if I have a way to just kind of acknowledge that that's what's going on, sometimes it can help me to get to a point where I am ready to work. Throughout the system, you will find these little blue eye emojis. They're going to give you information on how to use the system. Please know they're super easy to delete if you don't want them. Just click here and then hit delete and it'll disappear. So these are gonna be your main pages. Now, all of these are pretty straightforward. The beginner dashboard is going to kind of give you a bird's eye view of, of the most important areas in the Notion without being too visually overwhelming. The advanced dashboard is going to give you a bird's eye view of the whole system in a way that is more comprehensive and has a bit more views. Business HQ is where you're going to run your business or businesses. The system is set up to hold more than one business. Content is where you're going to have all of your content if you are a content creator or business owner who does content marketing. Even if you like just have a podcast, that can become your podcast HQ. Home admin is going to be anything related to home. So your kids, your family, your kids' schedules, cleaning schedules, grocery shopping, things like that. School dashboard, if you're in college or high school or university, what have you, maybe you're just doing a continued education, you can put in your courses and your assignments and things like that in the school dashboard. The planning HQ and the ideas HQ are two things that I came up with that are unique to this. I haven't really seen anybody else do this. Planning HQ is going to let you brain dump as well as schedule your week. So if you like to wait to like assign tasks to certain days until like the week before, the planning HQ will let you do that. And then the ideas HQ is going to hold all of your ideas across anything. It can be any idea, no idea is bad, and it lets you easily hide them and then show them again, which is really fun. And then we have hubs here. Now hubs are going to be like bigger pages for certain areas. So sometimes, although there are like tasks here and tasks here and tasks here, there's tasks throughout everywhere. Sometimes you just want to look at all the tasks. Um, so that's where these are going to come in handy. And these are pretty simple pages, but you'll see like this one is just going to have a bunch of different task views. So it's all the tasks in all the different ways that you could possibly want. And they have um, headlines on them. So you know what is what. Also on every single page, you will find this go back home button. It's in the same spot on every page. So you could use that to just pop right back home. If we look at our resources page, very similar, this is going to show us all resources across the whole system. There's not a lot in here right now and allow us to add any new ones and across any areas. So if you have resources tagged with profession or professional development, they'll show up under this tab. Our projects page is going to be the same thing. Just a nice little overview of every project that we have going on currently. It's not going to show us any ideas. Those are going to live on our ideas <laughs> page. And then we also have a habits page. 
This is a very um, unique page as well because it's gonna have three different ways for you to do habits, which is why there's so much text on here. I do have a video specifically going over this exact page in more depth if you wanna check it out, but just know it lets you do your habits in three different ways, which is really fun. And you can swap between them as much as you need to. Then we have our life objectives page. Again, these are goals, but saying current life objective for me is way more fun. So that's what I do. And you can easily hide these and revive them at any point. So it makes it very fluid so you can just like start stuff and stop stuff as you need as that's what your energy wants and just really follow your heart these are the supporting actions for the goals so basically anything that you're going to do to support your goal but instead of being like a task that you check off it's just like a vibe it's just like a something that you're going to try to do to support your goal there's no metrics with this it's just like i'm going to be doing this right now and this better supports my whole goal of this so like for have fun like roller skating lessons that's something you can just go do if you want um have a really fun girly pop birthday dinner party like that's something you can just plan if you want and the objective that that supports is have fun we love to see it we also have a journal the journal is probably like my favorite page because it just has so many options of what you want to write so you just click one of these buttons and it pops up a journal with questions pre-loaded you don't have to answer them you can do whatever you want but if you do want to do this, it just is like already taking some of the brain effort away from you and just being able to journal in a way that is super easy and low key. It also comes with the monthly reviews, which I have been doing for the last three years. It's just these questions. Sometimes I answer a little, sometimes I answer a lot. It's kind of different, but this has literally changed my life. It's been pretty crazy. So I recommend doing this because it takes me less than like 20 minutes per month. And it's been really, really impactful for me. Like I do an annual review every year on my birthday and to be able to go back and look at everything that I did in the year and how I was feeling and what I was thinking and what was the hardships and what was the good stuff. It's like really, really helpful and amazing. So these are just there if you want them, but guess what? If you don't want them, you don't have to do it. That's kind of how this whole system works. It's there if you want it. If you don't want to do anything with it, that's also fine. It can just sit there. And then we have tools. Now, a lot of these are AI tools, but um, basically if you like find something that you think might help your ADHD or just help your life or like your work, you can put it in here. And same thing, when you do add a new tool, it's going to have this stuff templatized so you can just easily fill it out and then there it is for you. So super easy. I'm going to go over the system pages now. So we have our topics and tags page, which is going to show us all of our topics and tags throughout the whole system. For instance, if we look at artificial intelligence, we have some resources that are tagged with AI. And then we also have down here some tools that are tagged with AI. So it kind of lets you see anything that you want in the whole system that you have applied this tag, which is really cool. Again, you don't have to use it, but definitely don't delete some of these because like some of them are integral to functions of the system. So feel free to add as many new tags as you want, but don't go deleting any because um, then something else might not work. <laughs> so just beware. We also have seasons. Now these are not like just your regular seasons. They can be, that's what I've put in here. But this ideally could be anything. A season could be moving to a new place, starting a new school, starting a new job, having a kid. Um, maybe you're an empty nester now. Maybe you're starting a business after working corporate. Um, there's all kinds of different life seasons that can apply to this. And when you go to click add a new season, it's going to have all of this preset. So you just need to fill it out. Um, and I think this is really wonderful because I don't know about you, but I always have like stuff I want to do during the seasons and music and shows and stuff I want to eat and I always just like forget what it is. So I just wanted like a home base for like when Christmas comes around, these are the things I like to eat. These are the things I like to do. These are the things I like to wear. These are the things I like to smell. Basically all of the sensory activities for a holiday. And then also like what to watch for. Like if you need to make sure that you bring your sad lamp out because it's, you know, winter's coming, you have that, you have that reminder. We also sort of in the vein of seasons have feelings. Now these are going to be just feelings that I thought that a lot of ADHDers would struggle with. You can easily add a new one and it will have all of these ready for you to go so you can just fill it in so it matches. These are the ones that are tied to the buttons on the front page. So if you add more and you want to add more buttons, you can definitely do that for yourself. But basically, if I'm like struggling to get started with work and it's because I'm feeling a certain way, I just want to come and like acknowledge that and then maybe take some time to feel it or if you have any tools that are helpful and just some good reminders. I wrote these. So just like take it with a grain of salt. If it's not helpful for you, like what's in there, delete it or make a new one. It's totally fine. I want you to customize this to yourself. 
myself. So I just tried to put in there what I thought might be some good ideas. Now the idea graveyard is going to show you where all of your dead ideas are. Um, but the beautiful thing is, is that you can just um, revive them. So it's uh, pretty great. If you want to come here and look at like content ideas that you've had that you no longer have anymore, you can do that. We have our all databases page. This is where all of the data for the entire system is stored. And so I recommend not messing around on here unless you're coming to do the easy delete, in which case um, you just select all and delete if you want to delete any of the sample data but other than that i wouldn't come there unless you're more you're more experienced with notion and then if you want notion support i've added a bunch of resources um, i do do calls i also will help people via email for free and via discord for free as well as here's some of my favorite learning resources if you watch this thomas frank youtube you will learn everything you need to know about notion it is amazing it's phenomenal but also the notion help center is surprisingly amazing and this is not videos, this is just Notion's help center and it's literally phenomenal. So if you have like a Notion question, I would go there first. If it's super complicated, come in Discord, we can definitely help you. Then there's my other free templates down here. So you might've seen these also listed on my page. Maybe you even download them as well. No harm, no foul. They are all listed right here. Um, sometimes I just download like other Notion templates for things. Like maybe I wanna download like a book tracker and you can just put it down there. So that works. And then lastly on this page, we do have a bug report. This is a really big system. I don't know if like if you're used to Notion, you can probably tell the sheer size of this system. If you're not used to Notion, like this is a really big system, there might be something that's broken. This is a way to alert me super quickly and I can let you know how to fix it. Hopefully we don't need that too often, but it's there if you do find something where you're like, this is not working as it should. That is a super quick overview of our Notion second brain. I hope that you really liked it. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to drop a comment or reach out to me. Um, my email is braylon at mind for adhd.com you can email me you can come and talk on discord you can drop a comment below um i love hearing from you guys and hopefully that was helpful and i'll see you next time bye friends